Well, I'm happy we won. Um, there's some numbers that I know you all have digested and already jumped out. Uh, 21 offensive rebounds, 14 of 26 from the line, uh, give up 43 points in the second half. That's uh, disappointing. Now, 19 points in the first half, and we weren't very good offensively. Uh, and I was really pleased with the guys. They'd done it defensively in the, in the first half. And then we were much better offensively in the second half and uh, uh, weren't very good uh, defensively. I was happy for uh, Dan Rad uh, when he got in the game. Uh, uh, obviously got him a little easy, went down low, and uh, just happy for him to see him get on the court, see that smile, and uh, obviously he's going to help us as we progress. But uh, happy we won, but uh, and we came out flat to uh, start the second half. Uh, had two turnovers. We had the ball to start the uh, second half, turned it over, came back, got a stop, had another turnover, and we should have capitalized uh, on those two opportunities with a stop in between. Well, I think the big thing is, you know, uh, the familiar understanding, you know, what he needs to do in every situation. Uh, and we're not just going to uh, throw him. We're not going to be afraid to play him, but we want to get him to gain some confidence and a good understanding. As most freshmen do, uh, you know, they, there's a learning curve getting used to the system and not having uh, the opportunity to play in the uh, – exhibition game or the first two games, uh, I, I want to make sure that he feels comfortable, knows what we're doing, uh, and uh, understands how to uh, execute in the system or what we're trying to do. Coach, does it change up what other people can do with him in the game? Oh, sure. He stretches the floor. I mean, he can post, he can score around the basket, he can rebound, he can run the floor, he can shoot the ball from out on the perimeter. So, uh, you know, he, he, he presents some problems. He's long, uh, he's athletic. Uh, has a good feel for the game. Jim, there was a stretch there uh, midway through the second half where it got to tight and LeBron hit, I think, seven points in a row there off the bench in less than about a minute. You just kind of talk about that swing, and it really helped you guys. Oh, he, he was – I thought he and uh, J.J. together there really helped us uh, uh, in the second half. I, I thought LeBron was uh, – you know, he hit a big, uh, uh, big three over there. He got a nice pass. Uh, down low, I knew it was five. I didn't realize it was seven. Uh, very astute on your part. But uh, uh, Ron is a guy that, uh, you know, we think can really help us. And uh, I thought he did a very good job for us. Now he had four rebounds as well. We didn't, we didn't, uh, we didn't rebound as well as, as a team. And uh, as I told our guys, uh, you know, you've got you to gotta push yourself and play. You, you cannot. Uh, play flat like we did in the second half. Talk about the figures scoring a couple of I thought he'd, uh, uh, when you look at J-Rod, uh, he, uh, he really had, he had a chance to have 20 now if he hits his free throws, gets another basket. He got 15 in the game. He's a better free throw shooter than that. Uh, but he's really, you know, he's not just relying on the, the three. He's changed his identity. And that's what we want him to do. I thought he went to the offensive rebound, got a big one, got two defensive rebounds, and so, and he's a tough defender. But he, he in the first half, I thought he was the guy that had the hot hand. And as I told our guys, we need to find him. Anything else, right there? You like so far, James, what you're out of the point. Well, I really do. You know, LJ is uh, doing a good job for us. Tion, Tion's played really well the last two games. He didn't score. At Corpus Christi, but I mean at uh, Pan American, but man, did he play! He played very good, and I thought he played. Uh, I thought he played good tonight, and he rebounded. He had six rebounds uh, the other night, and uh, let's see what did he get tonight? He only had two tonight, but uh, boy, he, he, he shot the ball well, and I like that. And then Jerron's coming in and gives us some quality, so we're you know we're getting some depth, and LJ's really sharing the ball well. He's got to get he's got to get rid of the ball quicker in the half court. Coach, what do you got to work here? What do you got to work on? Well, we'll go back. And it, again, it, it's, it's been the same thing, uh, same theme. Get better defensively, complement your defense with a rebound and be tougher. And I think we are becoming a tougher basketball team. We got beat some 50-50 balls tonight, I thought. And for whatever reason, <clears throat> we come out of the halftime, we got, we got to have a little more pop. I thought we were ready to go at the start of the game, but we got to have a little more pop at halftime. 
And uh, so we'll work on not to try to have a lull. Because what, what they cut the lead down to was six? Was it six? Yeah. In the second half. And uh, that was just point because I think we got it up to it was the biggest lead, 19 in the second half before. I mean, right there early. Late. Late. But early, I think it was 19. And then. You know, they went on a run, hit some threes, and they got confidence in our transition defense very good. We just – we didn't have the pop we needed. Free throws. Well, we work on them. We got to hit them. I, you know, we had a bigger lead at halftime. And probably part of our uh, inefficient uh, see, uh, in the first half was we had a lot of possessions where we had free throws and guys missed. Brennan's a great free throw shooter. You know, he, he missed, uh, Stiggers missed. We just missed too many free throws uh, in the first half and didn't shoot them well for the game. And uh, so we'll work on that as well. Anybody else? Thank you all. Have a good one. See you Sunday.